Hi, Aries. This is your December Sagittarius reading. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended where we get more detailed into this particular reading. Um, and they've been very detailed, even more. It's probably because I've learned so much recently, and I'm sure you have too, about yourself. Um, but we shall see. Okay, let's get into your Sagittarius December reading. Uh, the Seven of Wands. You are feeling the fire. You may want to... Oops, sorry about that. You may want to go, go, go. You may want to also be on the defense uh, no matter what. There's just some energy. It's Mars. Mars is in Sagittarius. So you will feel this ignite you in ways that may feel uncomfortable, perhaps. But you're not this way for no reason. But you may be with this, like this, and especially with the ways of the people that you love the most. And of course, during the holidays, it's kind of like, do we choose to ignore this? Do we choose to, you know, get into this? But this is also about you and how, and maybe you're in this mode where you feel like you need to defend yourself and your moral ground perhaps and it feels maybe vulnerable but more than anything you may realize that this may be again this card keeps coming out it may be a blind spot on what's holding you back and what's holding you back is from the seven of wands so the ten of pentacles to the six of swords to the eight of swords is that if you don't and if you don't take this some of this aggression or whatever it is that you feel maybe against what you've learned maybe it's really you that you're upset with because you don't and i am saying this because i feel like i can relate because you don't feel like this thing is you think that you feel like this thing is so deeply ingrained that if you change it it's going to feel so vulnerable for someone so strong especially someone who may be strongly attached to these specific aspects of their life of your life but if you really are wanting to grow then there is something that needs to be dealt with so maybe it's this particular situation maybe it is really um an internal thing for a lot of you it's both of course but it's not all of you and in a way, it gives you a key. It gives you a key. It gives you an outlet. It gives you almost something to focus on at this time. Because everything will feel like it's changing. And that may feel uncomfortable for a moment or two. To recognize that. this defensiveness may only be coming from a part of you that you're holding on to and you feel like you're actually helping other people but it's not helping anyone anymore and it's especially not helping you i am trying to use and i am channeling my tone of voice differently lately i am learning a lot <laughs> in that way so just know, and when you can't be that way, right? So let's just take even what I said that much further because it relates to this. When you can't be that way and you don't know how to get something across and you're not in the presence or you know it's a fragile time or you know, you know, there's something more or if you're, and if you're aware of these things, if you can be and you are, then it's really important to do what you need to to take yourself out of the situation and have or be in the presence of someone who could have this tough conversation, even if you feel harsh at first, even if you feel like you have a shell or you have your armor on, and then all of a sudden you get into and you realize you don't need your armor around this person. You don't need, you can expose yourself to this person. You can expose yourself and trust yourself. And maybe that's a value and a deep-rooted 
seed that you run into and realize like, oh, this is how I can transmute this. Maybe this is something to focus on, even if it's not a goal or a destination. It's just something that you can help, that can help you accept the change, the, maybe the, even the abrupt change that begins to happen this opening and it's fixed energy, right? So we're an immutable sign, right? But there's still this energy of, it feels a little hard. You know, Mars feels a little harsh right now and you're used to it and you're, you're here with it, but it's affecting you and it's affecting your life and it's affecting how your growth is now really shifting you're seeing this already this nodal effect the nodes moved into your sign and you're feeling it strongly especially if you're in aries rising you start to feel your identity shift this first this first shift here in the in this <laughs> and it exposes you to yourself but then it exposes you to this part of yourself that could only come from that exposure, right? So then this trickle effect, this domino effect starts to roll out and it can feel towards the middle of the month, especially as we get into Mercury retrograde, it could feel like you are really in a tunnel. Like you don't, you know, you're just kind of navigating yourself through this moment and being present. And I highly recommend doing your best to be present and finding ways that bring you there maybe through just a suggestion, the beginning of the day, just so that energy just continues to roll out or leaving yourself reminders, whatever it is that you need to do. Because the last thing you're gonna do is wanna talk about it while you're in it or talk about whatever this is as you're going through each step here. But what you can say or what you can speak to and what can be pulled out of you is this every, and this has also been a theme, actually, this is a continuous theme, um, which we see sometimes, but all the time, but this is a specific one is the attachment and being non-attached. Now we talked about this, I think for about two months on Libra season and you're starting to recognize that you how you hold on to certain grievances or grudges, if you hold grudges, or if you hold yourself to a certain place and you feel like if you move, everything's going to fall, then there's no trust there. This is, this shift is, this trust is you learning to trust the path that's being laid out in front of you instead of being full on areas. I'm laying out this path. I know I'm going this way, right? But then you got to jump over a rock, turn left, fork in the road. You veer right. And you feel like there's no way out. You're locked in. And it's like, this is Sagittarius season. Why do I feel locked in? Well, you may have believed something that's been, or there's been something that was shown to you and you've maybe had no choice but to believe it. Maybe you didn't know how to question it. Maybe you just didn't and it worked for a while. Who knows? But you're realizing that this belief, this strong sense of this is how I get from A to B to Z because and this is for some reason drawing my attention we have the 7, 10, 6, 8 right so it goes up and down but it's just funny that you may have to take a couple steps back you may have jumped but then maybe you need to go back just to move forward that you don't always get to control the direction because there's actually something else controlling you, perhaps. There's something connected to you and has a different direction for you or maybe you've learned all you can where you're at and now it's time to 
give this energy more life and you're maybe figuring out different ways of doing that and you reveal to yourself how it can be difficult to change if it's not first ultimately your decision or well you're always deciding but you feel like you're just being kind of drawn and you're maybe skeptical at first but then you realize the only reason why you're skeptical is because there's some attachments over here that you haven't had proper peace with yet you don't want to leave things unhinged which is a beautiful thing because there will be every year around this time Sagittarius Capricorn season we may encounter people from all across our lives perhaps depending on you know what's happening with you or you know life's way of allowing things and people to show up or maybe you're going back home whatever it is place you grew up maybe you're not maybe it's totally different but you still get reminded and have there's a sense of nostalgia and you see these attachments and how you've played into them and how it's now playing into your life right there's layers this season that you cannot focus on you're getting time to yourself maybe in a way that you can both be in your life but while also taking care of this if you do need extra help because it does look like this is a big change and there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of more support on your side right even if there are no sides but just on your side for you just energy more energy being directed like positively with you right maybe be unattached to how you receive that and maybe that can be a mantra threaded throughout other areas of your life this season Aries all right we will see you next month happy holidays if you celebrate if this is normally a lonely time of year maybe you reach out to someone maybe someone reaches out to you maybe you do something different maybe you don't have to be alone and reach out to someone if not we're here. I'm hopefully going to be having more content out. I'm stretching myself too. I understand. All the links are below and we'll see you in the next, in the extended link below.